My 11-year-old daughter is dealing with a severe eating disorder. I noticed some behavior changes starting about a year and a half ago. We noticed Hannah being more restrictive with her eating. Particularly certain types of food like carbohydrates, bread products, desserts. She'd wear a jacket to lunch and she would hide food in the pockets of her jacket. Then she would go to the bathroom and throw it away. I would continually find food hidden in her backpack. We actually found food hidden in multiple places all over her room. Hannah is obsessed with her body image and she's constantly saying that she's fat and she's ugly. Every time I try to make her eat, she says, I don't need to eat, I'm already fat. She finds food repulsive and because she feels fat, she feels like she shouldn't eat. Every meal is a struggle. If we didn't do anything right now, she would eat zero. She has what has been deemed an exercise compulsion. My daughter would set an alarm at two or three o'clock in the morning and have a workout routine going of 30 air squats, 30 jumping jacks, 15 sit-ups on repeat times three. She had extreme weight loss. We went in for a physical and she hadn't gained weight in a year. Even though it is completely obvious to my husband and I, Hannah does not believe she has an eating disorder. We try to control her eating and her eating disorder behaviors. She fights us every step of the way. My husband and I have checked Hannah into multiple treatment facilities in the last year and a half. Three times she had to get restrained. It's so hard to watch six guys restrain your 11-year-old little girl. Don't ever touch me again! Leave me alone! My wife and I are in way over our head. I'm afraid this illness will kill her. I want my daughter back, period. Okay, Matt, Melina, this is very serious. You believe, you recognize that this is life-threatening, correct? Absolutely. This started when she was nine years old. Uh, that's very young for someone to become that obsessed and focused on body image and start showing these signs. Talk to me about her when she was six, seven, and eight. Well, she was the sweetest girl. I mean, she still is the sweetest girl, but most happy-go-lucky, most outspoken, best eater, I'd say, of our three kids. Right. Um, good at everything. You know, she was the kid I didn't worry about at all. What's your theory of how she got from being just an absolute light to writhing and screaming in a bed, I hate you, get your hands off of me? Leave me alone! Get out! Let go of me! Let go of me! She's lost control of herself and her emotions, and this eating disorder has taken over her body. Looking back to what actually was the main trigger, we don't know for sure what that answer is, but I think there is a, a lot of little things that have led up to the straw uh, breaking the camel's back. And I think it, as we look back, it's body image, it's um, social media, and then maybe Hannah comes up and says, oh, well, maybe, maybe I, I'm not looking as good here or here compared to some of these other girls. So I think that's a big part of it. And then she s starts to, uh, maybe listen to some of the social media um, about diet fads that her older sisters or older friends might be um, looking at. She does not have a phone, so she doesn't have access to this every day. Mm -hmm. And then as we progress into the school year, we didn't find this out until uh, about three, four weeks ago that Hannah has mentioned that there was a, a, a bullying situation with her. She was in a group of friends, her friends, and a boy in class comes in and ends up picking her out of the group, shoves her down, and starts calling her names along the lines of, you're fat, you're ugly, et cetera. But at the same time, maybe that's the straw that broke the camel's but back. But two years into it, you're just hearing about mm -hmm. that. Now, that's, that should be significant to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That two years into a life-threatening disease, right. you're hearing about what might be a trigger. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.